Hey, my name is Adam and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's so good to have you here. So I'd like to do a video based on a video that I created for DrumEd. It's an amazing educational site. It has a YouTube channel. Go check out the video here if you haven't done so already. I'm talking about the very basics of a pattern that we refer to as the bluster. So I used it in 12-8, the time signature 12-8, which means every beat contains 12 eighth notes. Think of it like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But this time, we're gonna take it up a level, perhaps to the intermediate level. We're gonna begin using it in four four. That's a time signature, by the way. What that means is that now every beat contains two notes rather than three, or every bar perhaps contains eight eighth notes rather than the twelve. So that would sound like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. And I'm gonna play the pattern as 16th notes because our pattern is made up of three sections. That left-handed flam, the right-handed double, and the left-handed single. I'm gonna play that pattern five times, leaving us with a 16th note gap to fill in at the end. That might have just gone straight over your head. So let me play that on the pad and you'll hear it with your ears. So, one, E, and a two E and a three E and a four E and a eight. Nothing on the E. So what we'll do? We'll do just a a right left. That's actually gonna be like thirty second notes. Very fancy. Okay, it's gonna keep a pulse here. This is an eighth note pulse. I think one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. if you buy your kit. Give us a go. Try to keep that pulse happening in your left foot or perhaps your right foot. Just like lightly tap the bass drum, what you might refer to as, as feathering the bass drum. I'll do both. Okay, so we have our pattern, so. <laughs> Let's continue it. So flam, right, right, left, 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 bat, bat, one, two, three, four, woo! Ha, ha, ha. Oh, yes! Press. One, two, three, four. How's that going for you? Practice that. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Lush. So now we have that pattern down and we can play it across one bar four four. It'd be really great to see how it sounds like on the kit now when we incorporate it with a drum groove. So I'm gonna remove my pad from my snare drum, put it on the floor. So now it's gonna sound a little bit different. Nice, so now if that's the tempo, then maybe our groove could be Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do our pattern once, and then we'll do two bars of groove, and then we'll try and loop it. That sounds like this, okay? Nice! I think that sounds quite cool. Let's go to the next step now. I'm gonna begin orchestrating it around the drums. So, what it could sound like is this. And 
Nedo? That sounds amazing. If you can do that, then... Whoa! Blemin, fantastic! Great job. If you can't get to do that now, just work on it. Take it slower, and perhaps minimize certain sections. Perhaps make sure that you can get the... Nailed every time. And perhaps even try looping it. Also, another thing you can do is take it faster. So many possibilities! I really hope that you found this little mini lesson helpful and you can begin now to experiment using around the drum kit and just expanding your vocab behind this instrument. That way you can be free and do what you want and have all these little spices to choose from in your drumming. If you'd like to learn more of these little lessons, please let me know in the comments below or get in contact with us via our drum school, theschoolofdrumming.com. Anyway. Until next time, have a great day.